Hi ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome once again to my channel. My name is Shola John and I'm glad that you are here. If you have not subscribed for the video, what are you waiting for? Just click on the red button and then you are good to go so you can have access to our videos whenever we upload. Today I've come your way to discuss an issue that I feel is important to you and your relationship. And what am I talking about? Expired relationships. When we say aspire relationship, what do we really mean? We are talking about relationships that no longer hold the value they used to hold for you. We are talking about relationship breakdown. We are talking about fall out of relationship. You used to have a boyfriend, you used to have a girlfriend, you used to have a wife, you used to have a husband, you used to have a mentor, you used to have a mentee, you used to have a friend that you used to be very close. But for some reasons, things are no more the way they used to be. That is expired relationship. There's a breakdown in the relationship. And usually a lot of people don't know how to manage this. Of late, I've seen a lot of funny things happen. You know, people breaking up in marriage and then the social media is awash with all the secrets between them. People breaking up and bad-mouthing each other and all of that. That's what we mean by expired relationship. And I'm going to look at a few things around expired relationship. First, how do you know? that a relationship has expired. Disrespect. When the person who used to value you and respect you no longer respect you, okay? They don't pick your call, they don't respond to your call, they don't respond to issues where you have them, they, they no longer give you the respect they accord you. Perhaps because of what they heard about you, perhaps because of what they think about you, for whatever reason it is, when you get to see that, it's a sign that there's a problem. Okay, sometimes it's disloyalty. Someone who used to listen to you, hear you out, who was very loyal, could keep secret, is no longer like that. Okay, you know that something is fundamentally wrong. Or inability to keep secret when someone who you used to confide in begins to betray your confidence, okay, and then you give them information and they are no longer able to manage it the way they used to be, you know, there is already a problem. Or maybe the person is even bad-mouthing you behind you, okay, is saying things about you that you get to hear, you know, sometimes how these things work, okay, they, they trust, uh, you trust B, B trust C, C trust D, and D trust you. So they tell what you have told them, they go tell someone else. I had a very, uh, I, 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 I watched a particular pathetic story of a woman who had a friend and, and, and she truly felt she loved her friend and they were close friends. And so she would often talk about what happened between her and her husband to her friend. You know, unknown to her, the friend was relating the story to her husband. And there was a particular day, the last straw that broke the camel, that the horse's back, was when she had an issue with her husband, a little altercation, and she went to make a call to her friend just to get some advice on what to do. And she didn't know that her friend placed her conference call and the husband was getting everything that they were discussing outside. And as soon as she returned to the house, the husband pushed all her luggage out. And guess who the husband married? Her friend. You know, that bad, that bad. So when, when you begin to see things like that, bad mountain, people not able to keep secret, disloyalty, get to know, just get to know early enough that the relationship is expiring. Or mockery, okay? When formally, when you tell your friend this is what is happening, your friend is running helter skelter, saying how to help you. Now the same person is laughing at your travail, is is making jest and is not taking it serious. Certainly there is already a problem with the relationship or breakdown in communication when the person is now cold towards you is not willing to open up you are willing to share all your secrets or you are willing to share your problem but the person wouldn't share anything with you okay perhaps they have found third party or someone else they could share with you already know that there is something happening to the relationship and it's expiring i'm not going to deny the fact that um, the, the, the relationship can expire sometimes because some people have found better persons or they are fed up with you or whatever it is whatever it is when relationship expire be willing to accept and to acknowledge that something is happening 
and be willing to take action. Don't pretend as if you don't know something is happening. It could hurt you in the long run because you could be jolted. And when you are jolted to reality, you will not like it. All right, so what do you do in such place, in such times? First thing to do is to create a distance, okay? Step back a little. Don't keep pushing yourself on the person. The guy doesn't want you. Don't keep pushing yourself on him. The lady doesn't want you. Don't keep push, pushing yourself on her, okay? Ensure that you take a little break, okay? Assess the situation. When you take a break, don't even, don't even rush into another relationship. No, evaluate it. What did I do right? What did I not do right? What did he do right? What did he not do right? What did she do right? What did she not do right? Evaluate yourself, evaluate the person. Then you are able to come to conclusion that sometimes you may be wrong or the person is wrong. And then when you have been able to do that, examine yourself and ask yourself, do I still want to continue with this relationship? And if I'm continuing with this relationship, will I be able to give my best to it? When you have been able to, to do that, then it's time to hold a conversation, crucial conversation. Sit down with the person or however you want to hold the conversation. I notice this, I notice this, I notice that. Then while the conversation is going on, watch the body language, watch the reaction, okay? Watch if the person will accept or deny what you are saying. If the person accepts and apologizes, then you know that there is hope there. If the person denies all that you are saying, it could be a red flag, okay? A person could know what they are doing, but they will deny it. And so you need to just be very careful and then that's why I say you should watch the body language. Some people will be saying A, but their body language is saying B. So when you watch and sit through the body language, you'll get to know whether they are in, indeed sorry for what they are saying or for what has happened. If they are not, sometimes it could be as a result of ignorance. They may not know what they are doing. So it is in your place to let them know how they make you feel. If they still did not accept that, then you need to reevaluate. Okay, so you decide on the next line of action. If you decide to go away, please close the door gently. Now, I'm not saying you should not, about, you should not leave a relationship. I've had people say to me, if I don't leave that relationship, probably one of us will die. Okay, because there are tensions, okay, that they are trying to grapple with. And so they respect that. But if you must close a door, close it gently. What does that mean? There are things you must not do. There are things you must not say to someone you have once loved. I know I see people who sometimes they have had, they've, they've taken snapshot with people, okay? And because they are not having the misunderstanding. Back in the days when we used to print pictures, they go back to the pictures they took together when they were friends and they begin to tear it up. Now that's not wisdom. Yeah, you might want, you, you might think you are doing everything to remove the memory of the person from your life. But I want you to know, as long as you have breath, you can't erase people's memory. Sweet memory, bad memory, they may not be as painful as it used to be. The memory will always be there. You may forget some part of it, but you can't erase it completely. So it is the onus is on you to forgive and to let go of the painful part of the relationship. But tearing up and, and, and burning things they have given you as gifts and trying to do away with everything, as long as you relate to people, they will always remind you of the people you have been with before. And so, if you decide to walk away, close the door gently, keep the secrets that are shared with you. Make sure you don't, you don't leak the secrets because these secrets were kept when the going was good. And one thing you need to realize is that the person doesn't live where he used to be any longer. The person may be battling with certain areas of their life when they told you that and they may have overcome it. So you talking about their past doesn't represent who they are. And don't forget, if you choose to leak the secret, people that are in your life now, they will be careful with you. They will always think that you cannot be trusted. And so they will be guided around you. So how do you move on if you choose to leave the relationship? Learn your lesson and move on okay maybe you have been over trusted learn not to be over trusted maybe you have been uh caustic or aseptic in your use of words learn not to do that maybe you have been over dependent learn not to be over dependent learn your lesson there are always lessons to learn we either win or we learn not lose we don't lose okay if only we would take our lessons we don't lose so Learn your lesson, like we used to say in Nigeria Palace. Take your L and move on. 
Just learn your lesson. Let it be engraved on the tablet of your heart that you know what to do next time when you see a similar person who is like this. Then what else do you do? Beware of making new friends immediately. Some people jump out of a relationship and the next thing they, they make friends with their sympathizers. I mean, I've seen people who, who have a, a broken down relationship that should lead to marriage and then someone was there to comfort them. The next thing they do is to marry the person. Now you need to be very careful. You need to be careful that you don't uh, you don't just move on and then you, you move into another relationship immediately. There's something you need to do. You need to be whole. You need to be well. You need to be healed. Okay. And what does that mean? You need to, to learn the mistakes and accept your weaknesses. And you are not out to impress people now. In fact, you are not out to be selfish, self-seeking, neither are you out to please people. When you understand that, you know that you are on your way to healing, you are on your way to perfect healing, you are on your way to complete healing. Okay? And then it is when you have owned your weaknesses, okay? That's when you can be prepared for another relationship. And so usually if it was a relationship that has to do with marriage or something, I would always advise between six months and one year because probably some takes longer. Probably you will have been able to heal from it. You will have been able to see the errors you have made, the mistake. You cannot completely be free of error. You cannot put the whole blame on your partner. You have your own blame. And until you can own your own blame and accept that this is my own Permit me to use the word. Well, I don't want to use that word. You have, you can say, these are my own errors. These are my weaknesses, and I have accepted them. You are not ready for another relationship because you are likely going to still go blame the other person. And then, so what do you avoid? Avoid bitterness and resentment. Okay, that that thing in you that wants a revenge, that thing in you that wants to, if I see this person, I'm going to strangle him, I'm going to kill. Avoid that. Is killing you more than it's killing the other person. You've got to understand that. Okay? Don't let bitterness stay in your heart. Don't let resentment stay in your heart. Forgive the person as if you are the only wrong person. Don't worry. Don't worry how the person is feeling. Just feel good. Okay? That you have let go. Then, don't divulge secrets that have been kept with you. If the, 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 your stomach is not only meant to keep food, okay? They are meant to keep secret. You must learn to keep some things to you. If they choose to divulge the secret to have with them, don't worry about that, okay? You just keep the one they have with you. That's the only way you can prove that you are worth your honor. That's the only way you can prove that you are more mature. That's the only way you can prove that you are not like them, okay? Then if there are things that connect you together and maybe you still have it in trust for them, look for a way and a means to hand it over to them not necessarily say i'm going to punish him he did it because of me i have his password and he doesn't know it and i have it and until he pays for it you don't need that what is ahead of you is greater than what is behind you so when relationship expires learn to move on close the door gently just in case you need to open that door again Sometimes you won't be there when people go to speak about you. Let people be able to say the best about you. I've had a case of somebody recommending another person. He said, well, I may not agree with the, his, his the view or so, 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 but if you need someone to do the job, let this man do it for you. And because I know him. We don't agree on many things. We currently don't even speak. But I know he's going to do the job. Okay, That's what it takes. But when you have lost your credibility by the way you run your mouth and the way you do things simply because there is service breakdown or because the relationship has expired, remember those around they are watching. And when they are relating with you, they are preparing themselves, arming themselves, okay, to defend themselves so that they don't fall victim like the other person fall victim. Until I come your way next time, keep making impact, keep doing your best and keep closing doors gently. Thank you. Welcome to careerwise.ng, your career solution site. What we do basically is provide assessment for you, coaching for you, recruitment, internship. We have coaches. Orlando is a coach from Brazil, an international coach. Lara Langham from UK, my humble self, and we have some other coaches from Nigeria. You can go on our website, careerwise.ng, use the contact form and reach out to us. Meet us on Twitter, we are careerwise.ng1. Instagram, we are on Facebook reach out to us we are available to help you